let me start today's episode with a question to all the wonderful and strong females who are listening to the show. And mates, they were mine. You too, listen. Because there is no discrimination going on here, as it is important. The question is, are you all owning your stuff? Like, do you love what you possess? Your nature, emotions, and actions? Do you own it? Or are you regretting or something? Think of the answer. Question yourself. Be episode life change your thinking. So going back to today's episode, we have a special person today on the show. She is known as Chloe for most of the people. She was the asterisk in Campus Diaries, Arenak, and is known for Urta Punjab's Gothic Chick. She is known other than Anna Adar. She is a 20-year-old actor and filmmaker. She was born in Belarus to a family of academics, but from an early age, love performing art. She was in stage play and productions and won international talent competitions in the gym, Bulgaria, Poland, Lithuania, and Ukraine. So let's welcome Anna Dor. Welcome, Anna. Welcome to the show. Hi. Hi, guys. Hi, everyone. Good morning from London. Um, my voice is a bit deeper than usual, so... Just wanted to clarify, I don't know who wrote that IMDb thing, but I'm 27 now. I'm not 23 anymore. I think when somebody was writing it, I was 23, but I'm 27. <laughs> but you don't look 27. You look much more younger. Thank you. That's amazing. That's amazing. Ashwana, how are you? I'm fine. Like, it's great to have you here today. Like, I love you. I've watched your CDs and I'm a big fan of yours. So yeah, and today I'm talking to you, having such a good conversation. I'm just loving it. I love it. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, what was the question? Because I kind of missed it. You said so many nice things about me. Then I was like, oh. So I'm just, I was welcoming you right now. So let's do before getting embarrassed in the beautiful conversation with Anna. First, let me introduce you all with today's theme. And also an answer to the question which I asked you earlier in the beginning. I would say this with love because I have relied some truths about us. About the usual comments that we get to listen in our daily lives. And then we start judging ourselves. The theme is just related to that. Feel better about yourself instead of expecting the judgment, accepting the judgments. Just own your stuff. We will discuss the, this with time along with Anna. And then just sit back and enjoy the conversation. So Anna, you are a rising actress with such a great acting skills. How did you develop the interest in performing arts when your family belonged to the background of a family? Yeah, uh, none of my parents were actors, though they acting was their hobby. Like my mom used to dance and act in like local theater at school or college. And then my dad used to write a lot of poetry and he would like perform his own poetry. So I think both of them somewhere deep inside wanted to be artists. But because of like financial situation and family backgrounds, they had to like uh, get a proper degree and then a proper job. So that thing never happened. But me and my sisters, while growing up, we were exposed to a lot of uh, a lot of good theater, a lot of good films, and we would read a lot as well. Like my house is full of books. That's something I'm very grateful to my mom. And my grandmother was working in the theater, but she was not an actress. She was a cleaning lady. She was cleaning and taking care of a big theater in Minsk. That's where I'm from. And she was um, she was working there and I would go visit her sometime to just, you know, just to say hi. And she would get me to watch plays for free. So that's how like, I would sneak inside the whole, you know, when it's dark and I would like look for a seat for myself. And then I would watch plays. And I think that was my biggest treasure because, uh, I mean, not anybody is so lucky to watch theater for free. But I was. So I was a regular coming there after school, meeting my grandmother, helping her sometime around. And then she would take me behind the stage or she would like uh, let me go up upstairs to the sound booth so that I can watch the plays from there. So the love for theater started with watching it, with experiencing it, because for me that was a very, like, it was a different world. It was something magical. It almost felt like a time traveled. So yeah, that that's how that, that seed of love for theater was, was planted. Oh, basically, you just completed your parents' dream and they would be so happy to see you just rising and shining and have they were happy yeah, yeah they were quite supportive. Not not like all the my dad was supportive from the beginning when I joined the professional theater group myself at at what 12 11 or 12 my mom wasn't so happy yet like she was still pushing me to study and she was like very upset when i would get bad marks in in math or chemistry like 
it was like all over the place. So she wasn't really happy. But then I think when I finally turned 16, then when I went to India, then when I started working here, then she was like, okay, okay. Like she was like accepting the, the reality, I guess. Yeah, like you are having such a great success and you were like showcased on such good Bollywood movies and TV shows. And yeah, you are having a great success. So she would be happy. So I know you face a lot of ups and downs in your life. What made you choose the decision of moving to India to study cinema and be a filmmaker? Um, again, that was a very spontaneous decision. I was supposed to go to US because I was think when I was sixteen, I was thinking, what should I do next? And at that time, I've done quite a lot for my country. Like I performed around the world, representing Belarus and different performing arts competitions. So by that time, I already had a lot of experience. And then I was like, okay, like. Like I've done so much here, I want to move somewhere else. And but I didn't get visa to US at that time because my country and US had a very bad relationship. So no, like none of any like Belarusian people could get could get visa. And I went to India for, like on my first trip as a guest. I went to meet my friend and I went to somebody's wedding. So I I came visiting and it felt like home honestly because I I've been learning Indian dance since I was like. Eight. I used to watch a lot of Indian films. I learned Hindi at very early age, and I had a lot of Indian friends back in Belarus. So India was like always part of my life. It always like it's just like I don't remember myself not thinking about India, but I never thought I'll go there professionally. So when I came for somebody's wedding, and I was like, okay, this feels right. You know, let me try. Let me see what happens, and I just gave it a chance. And I stayed back. Well, we are so happy to have you in our industry. And it's just great to see you working. Like, you will not believe, but I recently watched your new web series with Harsh Peniwal, Campus Sari. And now, it is literally great talking to you in person. You were just there. You just made us fall in love with your acting. All my friends watched Campus Diaries together. And it was just great. I never thought that I would be talking to you today. So... How was your experience working on that project? Oh, it was lovely. First of all, it's it's important to mention that it was happening during the second lockdown. So I auditioned right before the lockdown began, I think around March. And then they announced that second lockdown is happening. Damn it. So again, everything is shut, have to sit at home. And I got COVID at that time in April. So I was sick and I didn't expect anything like that to happen. I, I never thought that they're going to call me back and say that we are shooting the series now. You know, are you available to come to Chandigarh? So it was a bit bizarre and it happened, I think in June, they reached out to me and they, June or even May, uh, they said that we're going to start readings on Zoom with other actors and probably go on the floor on July, like in July. So that was exciting because it was like that, you know, like a breath of fresh air, finally. A chance to be outside the house, a chance to be with creative people and doing something that we love, uh, which is acting and creating some projects. So I'm very grateful, like more than anything, I'm just grateful to that project that it like, it reached me at the time when everything seemed impossible. Uh, Very, very grateful. It was great and great cast such again when we were reading the series on zoom it was so funny and and at the same time it had so much heart so it was really fun yeah and then when we finally got over i think in, in september was my last schedule it felt like you're separating with the family almost yeah like that whole cast they are your family but the storyline and everything was just amazing i loved the series and it's just one of my favorite ones right now so a little a uh, question from our fan like me that is there any season two coming yeah yeah there is a season two of course <laughs> I don't know. there would definitely be season two I, I mean it's in writing right now writers are working on it so it's gonna take a little time uh but it will be there yes well i'm just excited to see that huh? like yeah. as i introduce you with today's tea for the episode of being your own self for accepting what you are basically owning yourself i would love to have your views on this like how do you deal with people's criticism and the dates the judgments because you are in india and you are from mm-hmm. other country and basically yeah there would be some judgments and the comments that people would be passing or throwing you. So how do you deal with that? I don't know. I consider myself very lucky because I don't get as many haters. Like, um, 
I, I, I can't even recall anything. I've never heard somebody say, go back to your country or something like that, you know, something new. I haven't heard that. So, so far, people have been accepting. The thing is, they have been very inclusive. And I don't know whether it's because I speak the language. Maybe that played a big part uh, because they feel I'm more like connected. Like I'm, I'm, I'm more connected to the culture. And like, I feel and like, I mean, I might look foreign, but I'm very dizzy from inside. Like, if you ask me, I've been in India for 10 years. So it's like all my friends, nobody thinks I'm like everybody was but speaking Hindi we would like uh, cook Indian food like you know it's like I you've become a local person throughout those 10 years maybe my followers have been seeing that and they, they don't really give that judgment but uh, of course there is other kind of criticism I mean it's not ju not just about like uh, not based on my skin color being an outsider uh, of course there are a lot of other things I'm sure many people don't like me or they they would not appreciate my presence in Bollywood industry I don't know, but I think it's all about doing what you think is right and doing what you love and then not care about other people's opinion because that can really set you off track when you're trying to like please everyone. Like that's impossible. So criticism, I always try to take it positively. Either it can show something about myself, which I didn't know. So that's a good side of criticism. And another one, sometimes people just say things for the sake of saying, for the sake of attention. Instagram is very famous of that. A lot of people reach out and they might say something mean, but that's just because they need that attention. It's nothing to do with you. So when you care less about that, I think then 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 everything is okay. Yeah, this focus on the good part instead of just back your getting and just move on. Like yeah. uh, the thing which you said that the language barrier you speak Hindi. Yeah, that's the main thing I think that the Indians link to you. Because a language plays a very important role. And when you speak Hindi, you look so sweet. You look so sweet. I can't tell you. Like, uh, we Indians could not speak such good Hindi like you. Because of acts that the uh, emotion that feeling doesn't come with us. Because we are just regular we used to it but then you can be it's just like awesome i would say that it is somewhat easy for people to pass out comments on some way but the difficult part of the same is how do you take on those comments on your own self because they will never stop it is society and as you said that they are attention some of the people are attention seekers and that's the truth but they want that you should reply to their messages they want to talk to you and they want to talk to somebody, so that's why they pass out different comments for the attention. So yeah, some people are attention seekers and they will judge you on your every action. But it is you who needs to learn to tackle those without changing yourself for others. So Anna, what advice would you like to give to the people out there who generally chase themselves to please others, forget their own reality and their crowd full of judging eyes like all the common people which you see around are changing themselves like your facts sometimes your family or relatives or even your parents pass out a comment that you're not doing this for or you are not good in this thing you're not being respect or you should change yourself and they try to become a better version of themselves while forgetting their own needs and choices so what advice would you give to those people I think, uh, first of all, know who you are and then everything will fall into place. Because if you don't know who you are, you will always be looking for other people to validate you, other places to be. You will be always scattered. But if you know who you are, you are centered. There is no space for you to, to do anything, you know, which will keep you out of balance. So I think that's very important. So, so, so I absolutely agree with you. And I would also say like my advice to all those people who are listening right now is that don't change yourself for anybody. Love yourself the way you are. Because everyone is special and unique. No one has the right to change your nature and thinking about your own self. You are not intimidated. They are intimidated. There is difference. You don't take up too much space. They are just used to people playing small. Their inner light is not too bright. They are just used to dinner their own. You are not mean nor aggressive. You are honest and uncertain. And that makes them uncomfortable. And you do not make them uncomfortable. Your presence challenges, challenges them. All of that is theirs. You will not be less for them to feel better about themselves. Just own your stuff. Am I right, Anna? Yes, 100%. So, Anna, are you working? currently working on any project? I'm studying right now. I'm doing my MA degree in acting. Wow. 
Yeah, it all happened after Campus Diaries. And so funny because the show was about college and suddenly I am in college. <laughs> You're experiencing that all again, but in a different country now. Yeah. So, Hannah, how was your experience today on the show Make a Change? Let's strive to more unashamed conversation. Oh, lovely. Good, good reflection on, you know, I, I, I'm kind of reflecting on the things that I know, but because somebody just asks those questions, it kind of comes back to my mind and I'm like, oh, that's good stuff. I should remember that. So I really enjoyed talking to you, Ashwanya. Thank you so much for being here. Like, is there any message that you would like to share with our audience, especially to all the females out there? Please watch Campus Diaries of Emma's Player. Also, you can watch Aranya, which is on Netflix. Uh, I also have a series which released on YouTube. Um, uh, they're not as famous because we don't have any channel backing us up, but we released it on uh, YouTube and it's called Locked In. It's directed by Manvi Pedi and uh, it's out there for free. So watch Locked In as well. Let me know how you feel about it. Yeah, guys, do watch the shows and the movies and campus size for sure on MX Player and do give out your comments, do message her, follow her on Instagram. Thank you so much, Anna, for being on the show today. It was a pleasure talking to you. Same, same, I swear.